Ever popped a bubble so big it covered your entire face? That's the magic of bubble gum. But how does it go from raw ingredients to that stretchy, chewy delight in your mouth? In this video, we'll uncover the secrets behind bubble gum production. You'll see the mixing of base gum, the addition of sweeteners and flavors, and the shaping process that gives us those perfect little pieces. Did you know that the world's largest bubble gum was a whopping 23 inches in diameter? Crazy, right? Let's find out what goes into making this beloved treat. Chapter one, the sticky history of bubble gum. Bubble gum has become a global phenomenon with billions of pieces consumed every year. It's a staple in convenience stores, movie theaters, and even as a fun addition to some cocktails. But how did this chewy treat become so popular? It all started with a creative confectioner and a whole lot of experimentation. The story of bubblegum dates back to 1928, when a young accountant named Walter Diemer was working for the Fleer Chewing Gum Company in Philadelphia. Diemer wasn't a chemist or a candy maker by trade, but he had a curious mind and a passion for sweets. In his spare time, he would tinker with gum recipes in the company's lab, trying to create a gum that could blow bigger bubbles than the existing chewing gum. After months of trial and error, Diemer finally stumbled upon the perfect formula. His new gum was less sticky than regular chewing gum and could stretch without breaking, allowing for bigger bubbles. But here's a fun fact. The only food coloring available at the time was pink, which is why traditional bubble gum has that iconic pink color. Diemer's creation, dubbed Double Bubble, was an instant hit. It was first sold in a small Philadelphia grocery store in 1928, and within 24 hours, the entire stock of 100 pieces had sold out. From there, bubble gum quickly spread across the country and then the world, becoming a beloved treat for children and adults alike. But did you know that bubble gum was once used for more than just blowing bubbles? During World War II, American soldiers used bubble gum to patch up their Jeep tires in emergencies. Chapter two, the ingredients. Now that we've chewed on the history, let's dive into what actually goes into making bubble gum. You might be surprised to learn that it's more than just sugar and artificial flavors. The main ingredients in bubblegum are a carefully crafted blend of components, each serving a specific purpose. At the heart of every piece is the gum base, the chewy, indigestible part that gives gum its unique texture. This base is made from a combination of resins, waxes, and elastomers, substances that can stretch and return to their original shape. Sweeteners, both sugar and artificial, are added to provide the gum's sweet taste and help preserve it. Softeners, often glycerin or vegetable oil, keep the gum pliable and prevent it from becoming too hard. Flavorings, which can be natural or artificial, give the gum its distinct taste, with popular options including mint, fruit, and cinnamon. Finally, food-grade dyes are used to give bubble gum its vibrant, eye-catching appearance. Here's a surprising fact. The gum base used in modern bubblegum is synthetic and not made from tree sap as many people believe. While the original chewing gums were indeed made from tree sap, today's gum bases are carefully formulated in labs to create the perfect chewing experience, showcasing how far the science of bubblegum has come. Some bubblegums contain titanium dioxide, the same substance used in sunscreen and white paint. It's used to give the gum a smooth, opaque appearance. Don't worry though, it's perfectly safe to consume in the small amounts used in gum. Chapter three, the manufacturing process. Now that we know what goes into bubble gum, let's explore how these ingredients come together to create the chewy treat we all know and love. The process is a fascinating blend of chemistry, engineering, and a touch of magic. The first step in making bubble gum is to prepare the gum base. This is done in large mixing machines that heat and blend the various components of the gum base. The process can take several hours, as the ingredients need to be thoroughly combined to create a smooth, uniform texture. Did you know that the temperature during this mixing process is crucial? If it's too hot, the gum base can break down and lose its elasticity. Too cold, and the ingredients won't mix properly. It's a delicate balance that requires precise control and monitoring. Once the gum base is ready, it's time to add the sweeteners, softeners, and flavorings. These ingredients are carefully measured and added to the gum base in large mixing vats. The mixture is heated and stirred continuously to ensure even distribution of all components. 
Here's a fun fact. The ratio of gum base to sweeteners is carefully calculated to achieve the perfect balance of chewiness and flavor release. Too much sweetener, and the gum won't hold together well. Too little, and it won't taste good for very long. After all the ingredients are thoroughly mixed, the gum is cooled and shaped. This is typically done by extruding the gum through specially designed machines that form it into long ropes or sheets. These are then cut into smaller pieces, depending on the final product shape. Did you know that some bubblegum factories can produce up to 10,000 pieces of gum per minute? That's a lot of potential bubbles. The final step in the process is coating and packaging the gum. Many bubble gums are coated with a hard sugar shell to prevent them from sticking together and to add an extra burst of sweetness. This coating process involves tumbling the gum pieces in large rotating drums while spraying them with a sugar solution. Once coated, the gum pieces are packaged into their final form, whether that's individually wrapped pieces, sticks, or balls. The packaging is designed not just to protect the gum, but also to catch the eye of potential buyers. Some bubblegum companies use compostable wrappers made from plant-based materials. This helps reduce the environmental impact of all those tiny wrappers that often end up as litter. From start to finish, the entire process of making bubblegum can take anywhere from 24 to 48 hours. That's quite a journey for something that often lasts just a few minutes in our mouths. Chapter 4, The Science of Bubble Blowing Now that we know how bubblegum is made, let's take a moment to appreciate the science behind those satisfying bubbles we'd love to blow. It's not just about chewing, there's some fascinating physics at work. When you chew bubblegum, you're not just mixing it with saliva, you're actually warming it up and making it more pliable. As you chew, you're also incorporating tiny air bubbles into the gum. These bubbles are key to blowing a successful bubble. When you press your tongue against the gum and blow, you're forcing air into those tiny bubbles, causing them to expand. The elasticity of the gum allows it to stretch and form a thin film around the air. As you continue to blow, the bubble gets bigger and bigger. But here's the cool part. The bubble doesn't pop immediately because of surface tension. The same force that allows water striders to walk on water keeps your gum bubble intact. However, as the bubble gets larger, the gum stretches thinner and thinner until eventually the surface tension can't hold it together anymore. And pop! Your bubble bursts. Did you know that the world record for the largest bubble gum bubble is 23 inches in diameter? That's almost two feet across. It was blown by Chad Fell of Alabama in 2004. Now that's something to chew on. Chapter five, conclusion. That's all for today's video. And don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe for more behind the scenes looks at how your favorite products are made. Thanks for watching.